a lot of people I feel like don't know what we mean when we say heartbreak. What does heartbreak mean for you? Uh, heartbreak is a literal ache in your heart. So, well, before I did not know, right? You know that it was something you that find you could out? physically feel. Okay. But you know, when I got it, I was in my bed uh, one night. The first, I remember the first night that I understood what heartbreak and heartache is. Oh, there are two think, different things? Yeah. yeah. Okay, talk to me. Because at the heartache, which is a part of heartbreak, mm -hmm. is, you know, one of the things that lets you know that, man, your heart is breaking, mm -hmm. is when you're in your bed lying down. Mm -hmm. um, and I would consider, I was speaking to my friend over there, and she was saying, you know, it's so good that you're going to speak about this because men are just taught to be strong. I am a very manly man. I must say that. I love that for you. Right? I love that for all and, the girls. Um, so, so what happened is that I was trying to fight it. Uh -huh. I was like, what is this going on? Yeah. You All thought right? you had COVID? No, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I but, thought I had COVID, yeah. but we'll get to that. Oh, damn, <laughs> damn, son. <laughs> so, I'm thinking about the person that I love the most ever in my life. Right. And, um, you know, how our separation no, is making me feel. No, 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 no. Okay. Just being straight. Just being okay. straight. And I feel this thing in my heart. And the first thing after the, 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 the ache here is I feel my face contorting. No, contort. Not Very contort, important not word. Contorting. Because I feel my. No, before this, I don't think, and maybe this is bad, but I hadn't cried in years. Okay. Years. Yeah. You know, not trying to not cry. But no, that's yeah, what no, it is. I get it. So I feel you my probably face. told yourself something at one point in your life, and that those words probably held power over you, and you never realized it. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But contort. Back to contorting. Back to contorting. So I feel my face contorting mm -hmm. like this, and then I'm like. No, 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 no. So, mm, back to my posture. Yeah. In my bed, back to my posture. Fix up, look sharp. Breathe. Yeah. Breathe through it. If mm -hmm. we go to the gym, you know what it is. You oh, yeah. Breathe through, you oh, gotta breathe through yes. shit. Right. <laughs> you gotta breathe through shit. All right. Please go back, goes back into the contortment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And then. I feel like this is my new favorite word. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I started to. <sighs> Wait, you had a panic attack? No. Oh, okay. Just, this is me. Having not, having not cried in years, this is my okay. first cry. Okay. In years. And <sighs> so you bust like a cloud? And then and then and then you know when I knew when, when I knew it was really bad? Tell me. Was when I started making the sounds. I knew that that, that was it. Because men don't make sounds. <laughs> men are strong. Cr then men he, are macho. Then it mm. break down in the bed. Mm. It broke right now. In the now. bed? I was on my back. Mm -hmm. I had to turn and cry in my pillow because I was so loud. I was like, what the hell is happening? That's all those years yeah. of telling yourself that I'm strong, I am... I mean, I am strong. Yeah, yeah, but, I'm, but, I'm... but crying is not a weakness. <laughs> and to be honest, that's something that I had to, to really realize too because mm -hmm. I remember, and that's why I said to you that you probably spoke something over yourself because mm -hmm. I remember I spoke something over myself and I didn't recognize it until one day I was like, oh mm -hmm. shit, I said that. I'm about over. No boy. Yeah, you know, but not even, not even no boy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I was kind of like, crying is a weakness. Don't mm -hmm. let them see you sweat. That mm -hmm. was always my motto. Yo, don't mm -hmm. let the people them know how you feel. Don't let them ever see you weak. Mm -hmm. And for me, I amounted crying to the weakness. Weak. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay. And then one day I was just like, no, man, a ball. Yeah, yeah. I am just gonna cry. Yeah. Oh yeah, my man. God. Let it out, man. You just let it out. Let it out, and then it happened a couple <laughs> nights, maybe two more nights. You must it... have felt so good after. Mm, maybe not immediately, but perhaps. Well, within I mean, the just, upcoming just weeks. did you feel lighter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a release. Yeah, I got a good sleep after. Okay, so I'll tell you a piece of my story. Mm -hmm. um, literally, not at COVID. Not gonna tell you. Like, not like. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna start with that. Yeah. So I'm in bed too. Yeah, so yeah. we're both in bed. You bed know, is, bed is bed is where it happens. Bed is where it happens. Bed is where it happens. <laughs> and I wasn't feeling like myself, and I'm always noticing these things. So I um, I kind of move my mood changes with the moon, the mm. moon phases, okay. and I noticed that very late in my life. Mm. Um, and I was, the first thing I thought was, okay, is that ah. full moon? Yeah. Because full moon enhances uh, my emotions, mm -hmm. it heightens them. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a full moon. There wasn't a new moon. There was no kind of moon mm -hmm, happening. Mm -hmm. And I just I just didn't feel as very... And then you know, one day, I literally woke up, slept all night, probably overslept, rolled over. And getting up, like I literally felt like somebody took a knife, stabbed me, and turned it like three times. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. Yo, COVID. dog. I, yo, I got COVID. Yeah, I swear to obviously, God. Obviously. And I'm like, and I'm walking, and yo, my chest are 
kill me. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what is happening? I can't have COVID. Oh. No, I have children. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, for two weeks. Oh, for two weeks. So anyways, um, I got on stairs. I forced myself to get something to eat. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming back upstairs and your deal, I kid you not, like my heart, my, my chest is on fire. Yeah. Like I literally feel like yep. consistently. So I call one of my best friends and I'm like, yo, dog, what's going I, th I think I have COVID. And she was just like, no, that's your heart breaking. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's, she's experienced. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? And she's like, dog, ever since that happened to you, and this was months after, you know, this was months right. after I decided that, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm not doing this anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving. And she was like, yeah, because you keep putting it under the rug. You keep telling yourself that you're strong. You're mm -hmm. Gandhi. Yeah, she calls me Gandhi, by the way because I'm always helping everybody else. Yeah, and she's like, yeah, your heart's breaking. Mm. Mm -hmm.